Hey guys, welcome to the weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, May 12th to the 21st. Hey gems, <laughs> hope you guys are doing good. Quick shout out to Jason from Ray of Light Tarot. Thank you so much for sharing my video for Gemini from last week. Guys, please check, it, please check out his channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's a really great reader. He's very gifted. He also offers um, various types of courses from time to time. So go ahead and check him out. He's, he's awesome. I think you guys would love him. He's such a sweetheart. Um, so Gemini's, bringing it back to you guys. I'm getting some interesting vibes off of you, Gemini, that I'm not used to getting. Um, I'm definitely not used to getting. I'm getting a lot of apprehension, a lot of concern. I'm actually getting a little queasy. So you might be even be getting queasy from the anxiety you're kind of getting about something. <laughs> <clears throat> Always with you, Geminis. <laughs> oh, that throat chakra with the Geminis. Anyway, I feel like you really want to move towards something. It's like something that you really want, something you're really excited about, but it feels like there's a breaking kind of happening. Like not like breaking, but I mean like a breaking, like a halting <laughs> kind of happening. Um, you're holding yourself back a little bit. You're you're apprehensive. Something's making you apprehensive, but it's something that you really, really want. Um, and I feel like this apprehension, interestingly enough, isn't even on part of like your own expectation of things. I feel like it's, I hate to say it's other people, but that's how it's feeling. Like uh, a little bit of people pleasing, excuse me, kind of energy coming off of you, Gemini. And of course, keep in mind, guys, this could always be vice versa as well. Excuse me. <clears throat> also, I was picking up on a channeling and it's still with me. Um, someone's gonna, ha someone is either experiencing or might experience an allergic reaction of some kind and I'm getting walnuts. It's like, it's all on my tongue and like through like the back of my throat. It feels really awful, by the way. And I know it's not anything I ate because it started coming on when I started doing the channeling. <clears throat> And then walnuts came to me when I was asking my guides about that. Mm. And no, I did not eat any walnuts, okay? <laughs> but that's definitely just a channeling for someone out there um, or someone that you may know, Gemini. So please be mindful of that. Walnuts, walnuts, and allergic reaction. It feels really awful. I feel like my tongue is like like cat tongue or something. It feels weird. Anyway, Gemini's. Um, and I'm also getting the sense, even just honing in on the pre-shuffle cards with what I picked up in the meditative session, there's been... Not a misuse of emotions. That's not the right. A miss, um, inappropriate display, inappropriate display, or like not the right approach as far as the emotional component is concerned between you and another individual. So we have judgment in reverse. Fire energy could also be Scorpio for me as a reader. King of Pen King of Cups, not King of Pence. King of Pence. I won't be surprised if makes if he makes an appearance. We are in a lot of Taurian energy. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, I'm okay. It's that weird allergic reaction. It's starting to go away. Uh, King of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy could also be water or air. And now we have Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water with lovers in reverse. Gemini energy, your energy. Lovers is also my divine soul connection card. So soulmate all the way up to twin flame or divine counterpart. And then we have Page of Wands in reverse with the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy, and Ten of Pence. Virgo energy. So let's start back over here. Yeah, I'm, this is what I'm feeling. It's like a like misrepresentation, misrepresentation, misrepresentation of emotions, um, inappropriate display of emotions, a wrong approach to the emotional factor here between you and another individual, especially with judgment in reverse here. It's like something really needs to be recalibrated um, regarding this energy, Gems. Um, I do feel like this is your energy. I do feel like that's your energy. It's like either you were, you were trying, it's almost, well, no, some, like most of you, this was unintentional. Most of you, this was unintentional, but others, I think there was some intent behind it of trying to kind of confuse someone as to how you felt or like trying to confuse someone as far as like the emotions you were, you were giving off. It's like, it's a little bit of that Gemini, like, devil's advocate mind stuff <laughs> you know what I mean and it's like I don't mean it in a bad way because for the most part I think it was unintentional and I think it's because of that apprehension of like maybe needing to please others or please people in your environment again it could always be vice versa um I have been tapped into more masculine energies lately so if you're a more feminine Gemini this will probably be vice versa for you but basically spirit saying that needs to not 
occur anymore. That needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me refocus it. Okay. Now we have Ace of Wands with the Queen of Wands in reverse and Lovers in reverse. I'm getting heavy jealousy vibrations here of something that could start. Something that's been trying to start is what I'm getting. Oh, it's here. Okay. It's here. <laughs> okay. My guides are like, no, it's here. It's here. And someone's very jealous. Someone's very jealous could definitely be a jealous ex. Okay. Um, yeah, someone's not happy, Gems. And maybe you're feeling that, which is also why you're kind of apprehensive. Um, you're feeling jealousy about it. And I think that's like, it's making you uneasy. It's making you uneasy. It's kind of like, what bullshit am I going to invite into my life by, by going for this passionate new start? What other bullshit is going to come into my life? What awful crap rumors, gossip, whatever is going to occur in my life if I go for what I really want. Again, causing more apprehension. And then we come over here, Page of Wands in a verse of the Three of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. This is a really awesome, like loving, found stable foundation that you're you're seeking out, that you're seeking out. I'm getting like overflowing of love actually, but someone's not happy. Yeah, I feel like it's this queen. This queen of wands in a verse is really not happy about it. Very, very jealous, very envious, very like poo-pooing, <laughs> poo-pooing the situation. <clears throat> but what's curious to me, Gems, it's like, why is this person even a factor? Because, I mean, clearly they're not part of this. Like, they're not part of this connection. So I'm like, why does it even matter what they feel? Why does it even matter? But again, that's why I'm getting that people-pleasing energy. So this is someone that I feel like you you may feel a little bit of obligatory, like, you know, I need to make sure that things are okay on their end <clears throat> for me to approach whatever this new beginning is, okay? And for some, it's a jealous ex. It could even be a family member or a friend. Um, but there's a sense of, I don't want more bullshit in my life because I'm going for my happy. What do I do about this person who's jealous? It's that kind of energy. See what's on the bottom. Gems. Leo energy, the sun, happiness and joy and freedom. Gems. Okay. It's not my place to say. This person shouldn't be a factor. Sorry. That's how I feel about it. I don't know all the details of your specific situation. If you have a family with this person, then okay. I kind of understand. Very slight kind of. <laughs> Because look, I look at what you're striving for. That looks pretty amazing to me. Ten of Pence, amazing abundance and security, stability and foundation. You definitely could be dealing with a jealous ex, okay? Because even the illustration here, there's clearly a family and like another woman is, is around in the mix here. Now, if this is an ex, they're an ex. Sorry, they're an ex play the role <laughs> you know what I mean um not to be too cold-hearted about it it's just the people pleasing thing is hard for me on a personal level to swallow so anyway just having to share that but it looks like you're coming into something really beautiful not to mention some amazing happiness amazing happiness and joy and up until this point you haven't really approached it in the emotional way you want to naturally because of this individual okay because of this individual's jealousy <clears throat> and their poo pooing of it, their disapproval of it. Again, could definitely be a family member. Doesn't have to be. It could be a friend, but it feels very much like a jealous ex. Okay. Um, but that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> For the sake of time, guys, I'm not going to do my regular intro. Um, I am leaving for Hawaii tomorrow. Um, and so I'm just trying to get as many videos done today as I possibly can. So for those who don't really know the best way to interpret readings as a viewer, by all means, check out one of my older videos from like last week or something. Um, and I go into great detail about it after the meditative pre-shuffle session. Okay. Sorry, Gems. This is making me crazy. Uh, any messages for Gemini? Are you guys okay? That, that was a pretty big one. Might be a tower moment coming for you guys, okay? Yeah, I'm still getting that people-pleasing energy. Really, really wanting something, knowing something makes you really happy, and just you haven't even given it the right emotion because... You're so worried about the backlash from this other person or group of people. Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini regarding love? 
May 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? May 12th to the 21st. All of a sudden, I got super hot. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, we're just getting started. <laughs> Any messages for Gemini? Regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. Oh, and happy Mother's Day. I do believe the 12th is Mother's Day. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Any messages for Gemini? That was weird. I got Vertigo for a second. That was weird. Uh, we have Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or water. Ooh, gems. I'm getting two different things for different groups of Geminis. Uh, for one group, I'm actually getting that Whoever this is that you have this connection with, um, they've been pulling their energy away. And I think because of that, like, not really giving it the emotion you would give it naturally. Sorry, the camera angles are making me crazy. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, I'm definitely getting that for one group. I thought I just heard a crying. I think I just heard someone crying. Female, for sure. Um, others, I'm, I'm getting like a weird mother energy. I don't like it. Um, there's a seethingness, a seethingness, like that's a word, um, <laughs> underneath the surface of this mother-like energy, seething, bitter, rage. It's like, it's so under the surface. I feel like people who like, are not super close to this person, wouldn't even notice it. Any other messages for Gemini? That's two different groups. Chariot, oh my God, I forgot to say that. I did, they did show me the chariot in the meditative session, I completely forgot. Cause again, it's like, you want it so bad. You wanna go towards it really bad. Um, but again, apprehension, that people pleasing energy. Chariot in reverse, can't Syrian energy. Yeah, you're not moving forward. You really want to, but you're not doing it right now. And also on that mother storyline, they definitely don't want you to. I'm getting like they actually are intention. Like, well, it's what they want. And so it's manifesting that way where it's like they're there's something with their energy that's blocking, blocking this off. And for those where you're dealing with someone who it's like they're pulling their energy away because of this, your your approach hasn't been the way you wanted it to be because of this people pleasing energy um they're they're not moving forward anymore wow gems shit all right let's see what else we got going on for you let's turn this around <laughs> the second i said that oh look king of pentacles i thought he made make an appearance taurus energy could also be earth or air gem this is you hands down feeling it really strong nine of wands sagittarian energy Wow, Queen of Swords in reverse. A Libra energy could also be air or water. <sighs> yes, yes. Okay. Okay. You're cutting bullshit out. Because this is the energy you've been dealing with so far. Like I said, two different things I'm picking up on. One, you're dealing with a mother who's uh, uh, not exactly the healthiest um, um, energy here, not exactly the healthiest mindset a person can have. Again, their energy has been blocking your forward movement, right? Not allowing you to move forward. Others, this is the person you've been connecting with and they're not moving forward and they're not putting energy into it anymore because they've felt this. I just want to keep saying misuse of emotion, which is a weird way to say it, but it's like, you just haven't given it the emotion you want to because of this, um, blocking energy here. Okay. And then here's you, Gemini <laughs> with this king of pentacles energy with nine of wands and queen of swords in reverse you're cutting shit out that that has been getting in your way you're putting up the fight you're gonna fight for what you want which is this person you really want to fight you've been through a lot already Gemini's whatever Gemini energy I'm tapped into again very masculine Gemini energy that I'm tapped into so if you're more feminine energy dominant then this will probably be vice versa but knowing what you want and wanting, and wanting stability at the end of the day. You wanna be really stable in your connection with somebody and you're willing to fight for them and you're willing to cut out the bullshit that needs to be cut out. And I don't even think it's anything they're doing or anything that you're really doing other than the not giving it the proper emotion you wanna give it. It just feels awkward actually. It feels kinda of awkward. There's awkwardness about it. Maybe they're, you're socially awkward, um, but I feel like it's created an awkward situation 
because it's kind of like one foot in, one foot out. One foot in, one foot out, right? But now you're willing to fight. <clears throat> By the way, we do have a perfect pair on the board, um, true pair on the board. So soulmate energy could also be indicative of twin flame or divine counterparts, whatever resonates with you. Any messages for Gemini? Let's see what else we got here. You could be a gem touring cusper as well. If so, happy early birthday. Oh, and happy birthday any Taurus is watching. There could definitely be some Taurians watching. Any messages for my Geminis <clears throat> regarding love, May 12th to the 21st? I'm also getting a turning away of somebody. Gems, if you've got options, you're turning someone away. Or if you've been, again, practicing this like people-pleasing energy, you're turning people away, which is beautiful. I love that. <gasps> Last card out, the Hierophant. Oh my, Taurus energy. Oh my, it just got serious. <laughs> it just got real serious. Uh, Hierophant is commitment energy, so it's also tradition. Okay, it's also tradition. It's also learning. So Gemini's, you could be getting advice from this. Guidance, guidance for, again, masculine Gemini that I'm tapped into. Seeking out guidance and help on what to do. Most of that is in the way of guides. Going to guides, listening to spirit, letting spirit guide you. Whoa, for the first time. That's interesting. For the first, I just heard for the first time. That's got to be only for some, not for all. But letting spirit guide you. Also, I'm getting some, there's like some therapeutic energy at play here for others. Um, but more so, I'm like, foundations and commitments are coming to me. All of this is, all of this guidance, advice for some therapy, it's like, it's to get to that long standing, standing foundation, which is very Taurian, very new moon and Taurus energy. We're all going to be experiencing some of that, but working towards that, working towards that overall energy, full in reverse, Aries energy could also be Aquarian because this is a Uranus card underneath that. Oh yeah. Seven of wands, Leo energy. Whatever masculine Gemini energy I'm tapped into, you're not giving up. <clears throat> you're not giving up for what you want, no matter what it requires of you. No matter what it requires of you, you're done people-pleasing, is what I'm gathering from this. You're done people-pleasing. You want to move forward. But to move forward, you got to deal with the, this little, like, blocks that have been created by <clears throat> people-pleasing or by this particular uh, mother energy that's been getting in the way, okay? And that, that mother energy is only for some, not for all. So let's look at the cherry in reverse and see if we can get off of that, okay? Where are we at? Oh my God, we're 20 minutes? Oh, geez. <laughs> Can never do a short video to save my life. Tell me about the cherry in reverse. <clears throat> I know you guys don't mind. I need to be better for me, that's all. <laughs> Tell me about cherry in reverse. You could be a cancer gem cusper as well. It's heavy cancer energy. And since they even showed it to me too, um, very prominent energy in your reading. Tell me about chariot in reverse. Get up and get going is what I just heard. Get up and get going. Oh, that's a little aggressive push by spirit. Tell me about chariot in reverse for Gemini. Regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. All right, that feels pretty good. <clears throat> Tell me about chariot in reverse. Tell me about chariot in reverse. Oh, I was like, I was feeling Empress energy. I, I should have said it out loud. I was just feeling it. So we have King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Because I was about to say, an Empress doesn't chase and get up. Because it, because like I said, for some, it's like this is representing the person you've been connecting with, and they're not putting in energy because of that awkward emotional, like one foot in, one foot out. Empress at that point will not put in any more energy, <laughs> ending with the Empress energy. Anyway, so we have King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, the Emperor in reverse. We now have an Empress and Emperor on the board. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy the world oh i love that fixed energy aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn which rules capricorn oh i'm sorry guys <coughs> 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 
I was fine. I was totally fine. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Knight of Cups. Piscean energy, also water and fire. Three of Cups, Cancer, with the Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I have to pause. Clearly something's up with my throat. I'll be right back. Okay, gems, I'm back. And also my fridge started up that crazy noise, so just bear with me there. Also, I just want to mention, anyone else who, like, is really sensitive to this Taurian energy, especially New Moon and Taurus, you're going to have, like, some, like, moderate fixed placements like between like 10 and uh like 19 degrees <clears throat> closer to 15 it'll be stronger and i which i have your senses are going to be heightened so my sense of touch is heightened so like my lips for example extra sensitive it's been making me crazy but anyway so back to you guys so let's look at your energy yeah gems <laughs> you know what you want you know what you want and you're tired of, of people pleasing, okay? Or tired of just not achieving it or going for it. So this Emperor in reverse and King of Pentacles in reverse, this is very ungrounded energy. And this is all relating to that block that's been created by that mother individual or <clears throat> your person pulling their energy away. It kind of made you very ungrounded and very unbalanced and like, okay, well, that's not okay with me. <laughs> That's not okay with me because I know what I want. How do I go about this to get what I want and to try to make as few waves as possible? You were trying to avoid conflict here. But the thing that's beautiful to me, Gemini, especially since you're coming across as an emperor slash a king of pentacles, very, very masculine energy. You're just kind of like, fuck it. I know what I want. Hold on. There we go. You're like, fuck it. I know what I want. So you go on this brand new cycle, life-changing cycle, by the way, very, very life-changing. Um, this is not just a little change. This is like a whole new chapter of your life is about to start, okay? And look at you, look at you going towards your empress as an emperor to rejoice and reconcile. Keep in mind, we did have this in the, in the pre-shuffle deck with the 10 of pentacles. This is someone you want a family with, someone you want a strong foundation with or a really stable home life with, okay? Very nice, very nice. And on the bottom of the deck, chariot. <laughs> oh, I love it. I knew that was a strong energy for you guys. Again, more cancer energy. Yeah, you're saying, fuck it. We need to move forward. We need to move forward because it's exactly what I want and it makes me happy and I want to make you happy. And I'm getting very, like, um, very earthy energy. Like, because earth energy, it's great for building. It's also great for nurturing something, like planting the seeds in order to nurture something. Hence, Empress enters to continue to nurture it to fruition with the Emperor. Oh, awesome. So Geminis, back to you. Again, masculine Geminis. <clears throat> Not letting it go. Ready to fight. Ready to take ready to take that's interesting that just came out and again cutting shit out that doesn't serve you let's look at this queen of swords in reverse because this is you taking on the energy of libra to um to again cut away things that are, are hindering the situation tell me about queen of swords in reverse tell me about queen of swords in reverse i just got a lot of protection energy i believe that's taurian energy just you know coming in playing a role here for you guys and i've been picking that up for a lot of people actually so i have a queen of swords in reverse because during this time venus will go into taurus um as and mars will go into cancer okay so it's going to shift from like from people acting out of a headspace to people acting out of a heart space with the mars and venus going home to taurus people again that's more of the senses being heightened um also just taking on that taurian energy of, of stabilizing situations nurturing situations to a more homey state don't give a queen of swords in reverse so i don't know what the hell that is for gemini there we go <clears throat> Yeah, see, Six of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy. You're cutting this shit out. Anything that's not bringing you peace, you're cutting it out. You're cutting it out. Tell me about Queen of Swords in Reverse for Gemini regarding love. May 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Queen of Swords in Reverse for Gemini regarding love. May 12th to the 21st. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Wow, three of swords, Saturn in Libra energy. Oh, 
Ooh, four of wands, Aries energy with the six of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy, soulmate energy, past life energy, karmic energy. You're cutting out anything that has caused you pain so far with approaching this person. Um, I'm also getting just in general relationships. This feels like a big lesson learned. Gemini's, <clears throat> whatever masculine Gemini I'm tapped into, this has been a pattern for you in relationships where it's like people pleasing was a big factor or making sure that the waters were calm, making sure that everyone was happy was a big factor, no matter what it meant for you, no matter what you had to give up, no matter how painful it was for you. And you're done doing that. You're done. You're not doing that shit anymore. It didn't do anything for you in the past. Cause I mean, clearly you're not with those people anymore. <laughs> right. And you're, and it's like, you're realizing like, Oh shit, wait a minute. This is something that doesn't serve me at all. Why am I doing this? Why am I willing to sacrifice an empress for this? You're not doing it anymore. Tell me about Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah. See, it only led, led to failure. Tell me about Queen of Swords in reverse for Gemini. Regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. Yeah, see? Six of Wands in reverse. Jupiter Leo energy. It just led you to failed relationships. Because at the end of the day, it's your relationship. It's not anyone else's. It's not anyone else's. <clears throat> overall, energy, overall energy for the Queen of Swords in reverse. Sun in reverse. Leo energy. Yeah. Led, led to nothing but like, but just oppression and unhappiness. Because you weren't living your life for you. It was for other people. Now let's look at the Hierophant and see what's going on there. I'm going to switch up the deck. Actually, use Legacy. I haven't used Legacy in a while. <clears throat> Pulling up the Hierophant. For Gemini, regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. Oops. <laughs> Tell me about Hierophant. For Gemini, <clears throat> regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Hierophant. For Gemini, regarding love. May 12th to the 21st. Yeah, this is a big lesson learned. A big lesson learned. And I'm wondering if you never met this empress, how long it would have taken you to realize this problem. Masculine Geminis, again. <clears throat> Play out the Hierophant for Gemini regarding love. May 12th to the 21st. Also, Full Moon and Scorpio on the 18th will also be having this effect of secrets being revealed <laughs> shit coming to light especially coupled with pluto retrograde energy also doing the same thing essentially <clears throat> both will be strong energies at the time tell me about hierophant for gemini regarding love may 12th to the 21st oh i'm sorry it's just it's cute and sweet ace of pens uh yeah looking for that stable foundation and just stability, 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 and abundance tapped on top of that. You just want, you just want it all. You want it all, Gemini's, and you know you can have it. And I think that's why you're like, yeah, no more. I don't need to be doing this shit no more. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Interesting. Tell me about the hair font. Let's see what else we get here. <clears throat> I'm getting requiring a balance for this to happen. For this beginning to happen between you and your empress, there needs to be more, more um, balance here, a more equal give and take, okay? Um, let's see what else we got here. Tell me about the Hierophant for Gemini regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Hierophant for Gemini regarding love, May 12th to the 21st. Oh. As I was talking about the Scorpio full moon, in comes Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio must have heard us talking. Anyway, <clears throat> death, scorpionic energy, and the tower in reverse, scorpionic energy. Could also be Aries because it says Mars influence. And like I said, there will be a Mars transition. And then we have page of swords. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, and didn't I drop the phone too? And I was like, oh, you might have a tower coming up. This is major change. Major. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Gemini's, this is such a big lesson for you that it's changing a lot of how you approach relationships and it's changing your perspective. And it comes with honesty as well. <clears throat> 
excuse me, towards your empress. Being more honest with yourself, with yourself, standing more in your truth and just letting people know what's up. I'm not going to have, I'm not going to please you anymore. I'm not going to make decisions to make you comfortable. I'm making decisions to make me comfortable and me happy, which is exactly how it should be. And that's how that you're going to restore balance. That's how you're going to restore balance here. Okay. Is through this major, major scorpionic death process of transformation. And again, delivering the truth about that. Of who you are and what makes you happy and who makes you happy. Overall energy for the hair font, we do have seven of cups. And then under, underneath that, we do have the sun. Leo energy, also more Scorpio energy over here. Illumination. <clears throat> Illumination of the truth and also of emotion. Gemini, I think this is also, not only are you reclaiming your power in all of this, but you're in a way reclaiming your emotion. I'm allowed to feel what I feel. And I'm allowed to be honest about it. <laughs> that it's, it's really awesome. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. It's really awesome energy, Gemini. I'm allowed to feel what I feel. And I'm going to be honest about what I feel despite what you have to say about it and despite how it makes you feel because it's about how I feel. You know, it's just, it's, yeah, I mean, it's just very clear cut. You're reclaiming your power and you're chasing down your empress and you're going to be happy no matter what anyone has to say about it. All right, so let's pull romance angel cards and see what that has to say. <clears throat> Where are we at? Oh, 30 minutes. Oh, okay, not bad. Any messages for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any me messages for Geminis? <clears throat> Regarding this spread? It's like my throat is so dry. No matter how much water I drink, it's just forever dry. <laughs> Any messages for Gemini? It's not even tight. Like, it's just dry. Any messages for Gemini? Regarding this spread? Any messages for Gemini? Regarding this spread? <clears throat> Making me insane though. <clears throat> I can't hold the card. I'm sorry. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. My masculine gems, this is you taking your power back. Um, I don't think you're really forget. Well, no, I don't think you're there's a lot of forgiving going on, but you're learning. Oh, you're forgiving yourself. You're forgiving yourself for subjecting yourself to this kind of behavior. Aw, and you deserve love and calling in your soulmate. More like you're chasing them down. <laughs> More like you're quite literally chasing down this empress, okay? Uh, Cause you deserve it. You fucking deserve happiness, regardless of who else wants to dictate what happiness is for you. You know what makes you happy. You know how you feel. And it's, you're illuminating that to other people and specifically you know, that one individual who definitely feels like they got some shit to say about it. And you're forgiving yourself for subjecting yourself to that kind of behavior, subjecting yourself to these people and their issues or person and their issues. <clears throat> and you're moving ahead towards your empress, okay? All right, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Any other messages for my Geminis? <laughs> Sorry. Any other messages for my Geminis regarding this spread? Oh my. Mm -hmm. Now we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I this what, the reason I I laughed like that when this came out. There's such a draw between the two of you. Not to mention you're an emperor with an empress. That's an amazing match. Um, there's such a draw. You're so attracted to each other. There's no not going for it. Excuse me. There's no not going for it. You two could also be just very attractive. And geez, sorry, in individuals. <clears throat> it's all that having to clear my throat. <clears throat> you two could be very attractive individuals, but there's such a draw to, e to each other that it's like, there's no way someone's going to be like, well, you can't be with them because they're this or because they're that or because I'm jealous or whatever however that comes across in your situation masculine gems you're like well this person's a magnet for me and I just can't help myself <laughs> 
They make me happy. I'm going to do what makes me happy. It's awesome energy gems. Overall, we do have codependency, which I thought was interesting. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like this codependency has more to do with the people pleasing energy I was sensing. So you could just be trying to please family or your friends or whatever. But that comes out of codependency, okay? That comes out of like needing to rely on you or you needing to rely on them. That's what a codependent relationship is. Whether it's just emotionally needing to rely on each other or financially or some, you know, that kind of energy. Um, no longer, no longer engaging in that. No longer engaging in that because underneath, Pay attention to the red flags. You see how fucked up it is, okay? <laughs> you wake up to how fucked up it is and how it's affected your relationships and you're like, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, this was a mistake I'm doing the whole time. Oh no, I know, I know what I need. I know what makes me happy. I know what I deserve and I'm not gonna do that anymore. This is major change and transformation. And Gemini's, <clears throat> this is awesome. I'm so happy for you that you have a match like this. Um, cause clearly you've known for a while that this is exactly the kind of person you need in your life. All right. The unfortunate thing is you're also learning that there's a lot of other people you don't need in your life or a person that you don't need in your life. And you're making the necessary, um, steps to cutting that out. Okay. All right, gems. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon and Facebook and other social media like Instagram and Twitter. I always want to say Twister. It's not Twister. Um, but I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. I will see you guys later. Have a great night, gems. Namaste.